Spaceman was recently released on Netflix, and it's safe to say that amongst this calming, tranquil, lonely film, Hanush the Spider arrived, made us weep, and then left us wondering about his identity, origin, and existence. With Paul Dano absolutely smashing the role of Hanush the Spider, which left me wondering if he was real, if it was inside the mind of Jakob, or if it was anything else, let's theorize and break down all of the possibilities and then answer that question. Plus, we'll also be looking to the book for some clarity too. Here is Spaceman, is Hanush real? Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Hanush was inside of Jakob's mind. Let's first start by looking at Hanush not being real at all. The first time we saw something that remotely resembled Hanush was early on in the film when Jakob was looking at himself in the mirror in a dream, and there appeared to be this spider-type thing that was crawling around inside of his face, underneath his skin. Although at this point in the film, we'd never met Hanush in reality or knew that there was this giant spider creature that was on board, the fact that this moment occurred inside of Jakob's head within a dream and was also literally inside of his head because he was underneath his skin, that could be a way that the film was telling us that Hanush was born inside the mind of Jakob and that he wasn't actually there in reality. We know that Hanush could essentially see Jakob's memories and mind and showcase things to him, but I feel this could almost be a subtle nod to if he was real or not. Another few things about the appearance of Hanush that made it seem like he could have been part of Jakob's imagination was the fact that whenever we saw him, the shape and size did seem to differ. There were points where Hanush felt like this giant spider that took up the entirety of the corner and the walkway, especially in the early parts of the film. Maybe when Jakob was naturally more scared of him, and there were then other moments where Hanush looked the same size or maybe even smaller than the skinny human that was in front of him. So the lack of consistency in size could also be pointing to the fact that Hanush may have just been inside of Jakob's head. When you think about the situation that Jakob was in, he was described as being the loneliest man in the universe, something which the young girl called him at the start because he was the farthest away from any living being that anybody had ever been and currently was and he'd been in that state of mind for around six months, not seeing anybody in person. During that time, he would have naturally had a lot of time to himself, where he was most likely reflecting on his life back home. Things like his past, his upbringing, his previous relationships, and how that was all tied into the person that he was in the present day. Jakob was a selfish person and put his own needs before the person that he apparently cared for most in the world, his wife Lenka. Lenka was the only person that he had in his life, and it was only when she stopped speaking to him and then he realized that she was unhappy in the marriage that they had together that Hanush started appearing. Jakob never truly thought that he was doing anything wrong until he met Hanush, where he started playing memories back to him. It was only when he was reflecting on his life, something you can only really do inside of your mind, that he realized that he needed to change. Jakob seemed like somebody that was almost set in his ways, so it would have never have been himself telling him that he needed to change. He almost needed somebody or something in this instance to show him. So he could have thought up the idea of Hanush, and without even realizing, had this creature be the very thing that relayed his inner thoughts directly towards him and showed him that he needed to change and value what was actually important in life, not what he'd always believed was important, which was becoming a cosmonaut. Let's also remember as well, nobody else heard or saw Hanush on board the ship that Jakob was on. Granted, we did find out that half of the camera stopped working, but both of them moved around a lot of the ship together, and Peter was able to listen in on the ship but never once heard him. So that kind of also supports the idea that Hanush was never actually there. The only person that saw him was Jakob. I know that Jakob was on the edge of Jupiter and at a place where no human had ever been before, so who's to say that creatures like that can't exist and aren't traveling on a journey that's similar? It is sci-fi after all. But the whole situation of how Hanush came about, the way that we saw him and how and what he was showing and telling Jakob felt like things that one would tell themselves once they realized that they needed to change. So there is a strong argument that Hanush could be inside of Jakob's head. Now let's take a look at the argument of Hanush being real and an actual space creature. So I'll start by saying that I don't actually think there are as many arguments for Hanush actually being real when compared to him being inside of Jakob's mind. Obviously, he was there and Jakob saw him with his own eyes, so that's point one, I guess. The only real way I could kind of justify that Hanush was there was that there were moments like this where physical objects were passed over between the both of them, and there were brief moments where contact would be made. 
However, I do suppose, even if Jakob handed the object over, it wouldn't drop to the floor, because they're in space where there's no gravity, so he could just be seeing him in front of him. But the moments such as the hug and when Hanush pushed him were times where Jakob reacted in a physical way, and how one would if there was something that was actually there causing him to move. It wasn't an action, it was a reaction. I'd also argue that because there was a moment where Jakob was left alone after meeting Hanush and Hanush physically leaving the space at one point, that could also justify his actual existence. If Jakob didn't want to be alone and be with his thoughts, then he would have kept Hanush present on board the ship with him, rather than telling himself that he was getting bored with his mindset and then eventually got him to leave. When looking at the book as well, during the novel, it's apparently said that Hanush was seen by another cosmonaut when in outer space, which could support the theory that he was a creature that was from the beginning of time, had always been around, was an explorer, and was fascinated by humans. Hence the interest in Jakob that was present. Although that's not something that's in the film, it's within the book. But in this instance, I think maybe we should stick with what was seen in the film. So what do I think? Well, the creator of the film has come out and said that there's actually no definitive answer on whether or not what Jakob experienced was real in its entirety in his mission to Jupiter, let alone the status of Hanush and if it was real or not. And I think you do kind of get that from the film, especially the ending. However, I did initially like to think that Hanush was real, but I feel it's far more powerful to think and understand that Hanush was actually inside of Jakob's mind. It took him to come face to face with what was essentially a monstrous figure, grow to care for him, and then have to lose him so that his loneliness could be cured, his selfishness to have a light shone on it, and for him to realize that he didn't need to be twice the man that he was because the acts that his father committed, something which ultimately made him have a new appreciation for life and the people that he cared about, Hence, the new beginning that Jakob had. Due to the quite literal out-of-this-world setting, it makes this spider creature that can't be contained and can move through physical objects like a particle from the purple cloud believable, and like he could exist. But when you look at all of the signs that are there, I think it most definitely points to Hanush being inside of Jakob's mind. He saw what he needed to see, when he needed to see it, at the point where he was on the cusp of losing it all. And I think the loneliness drove him to the point where he just couldn't escape from or hide the guilt that he felt for how he treated his wife and also how his father acted when he was alive. So whilst it might not be as beautiful because it wasn't real and also mean that the hug and the giving of the hazelnut spread wasn't a moment that actually occurred in reality, I'm going to stick by Hanush being inside of Jakob's mind. But I suppose, like the director is hinting towards, it's entirely down to us to decide on our own personal level. So I suppose that makes it even more beautiful is different for each and every person. So, there you have it. Spaceman is Hanush real. If you want to see a full breakdown on the film where I delve into the meaning of it a lot more and also provide a review, then click on the card in the top corner. It's also on the channel at the moment as well. Do you think Hanush was real? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning into the video and I'll see you in the next one.